Let's make the world look like it was covered in urine. It was amazing. Oh, what a time to be alive. Rose-colored glasses versus piss-colored glasses. That's a, that's a metaphor for 2020, if I ever heard it. Looking at the world through piss-colored glasses. <laughs> And I'm Zoe. I didn't come here to win. I came here to <laughs> That's the one. That's the keeper. <laughs> you know, I'm Zoe. I'm in the US. I'm Sam. I'm in the I'm not in the US, fuck's sake. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know what would make the best wife for him? Matt. Matt. Yeah. <laughs> cool. My aesthetic, velvet. my hardcore aesthetic in the 90s was a turtleneck sweater, like with what well, whimsical print of some kind. Um, and it was like a, a dress that was like kind of this, this like fabric or this pattern at the bottom. And then the top was like bib overalls that I wore over this turtleneck sweater. And then really clashing tights and granny boots, like like old school, like 1910s granny boots because it was so popular to look like you lived in 1910 and like those drop waist dresses and, oh, I was adorable when I was a child. It, Billy Zane, oh yeah, oh yeah. That's, that's real good there. That's the accent that they used, by the way. It's some combination of New Mexican and Minnesotan. Oh yeah, okay. Well, I'm gonna go lay on my pillow and uh, slay some kids there. So, oh, they're all good. <laughs> some nachos. Oh, I could eat some nachos right now. My option I'm... for Gawain, besides a stained bed sheet, which would probably have better, range, you would have more personality. Is it would tell Taco Bell Chihuahua because that was one of the biggest people in 1995. I'm assuming. He was there. a fucking star. He was a star. A Wheel of Time talk show with your shied hosts, Zoe and Sam, during this episode. <laughs> Livery. <laughs> She doesn't have genitalia. She's. Can you imagine, like, Luce Farron in Randall Four's head? Like, can everybody see me? Can everybody <laughs> hear me? Because that was not something that. That does not me. tell me that there's going to be boobs in this show. And yeah. there needs to be boobs in this show. Just. There needs FYI, to be boobs. That's boobs. Another thing. Yeah, boobs and that's butts. How they, that's the bait. That's the little wormy that they put on the end of the hook to reel in the people. Look at Game of Thrones. It works. it works. That's how coronavirus is transmitted, is by spears. You're gonna be a star, baby. You I feel like one of those uh, dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> what they call them? I don't remember. Ah! What they Hello, Newman. <laughs> <laughs> I need this to be a dress. That would be easy. You can make that happen. Someone's always watching. Oh God, I hate whispering. I do look like a senator. You do. Slutty senator. I was just jealous, so he killed her and her children that he apparently didn't care about more than a fist bump. He didn't even care enough to shake that kid's fucking hand. I mean, I get it if you're not like a huggy dad, but like, hey champ, how was school? Like, I don't go to school, Dad. I'm in the Age of Legends. He's like, that's right, kiddo. You, you make that touchdown. I'll, I'll go now. In high school, they were like, you, you show too much cleavage. It was a Catholic school, so I was like, I'm wearing a turtleneck, Brenda. Like, it's up to here. You're like, no, you share too much cleavage. The boys are going to think you're easy. I was like, yeah, that's the point. <laughs> I want them to know that I'm available and open for business. <laughs> I like to keep it on. Yeah. Like, well, 
it's like I just feel that that moment where Lan and Demandred are fighting. I mean, it was it was like porn. It was just amazing. <laughs> I told this story before that where I was like listening to Wheel of Time in the car with my mother-in-law and just gripping the wheel like this during that last, that scene, that exact scene that you're talking about. I was just like this. And she's like, are you okay? I'm like, I'm fine. <laughs> that was perfection. I really like this look. Yeah, that looks cute. I, I thought might, it was I might just like... wear this for like the holidays. Yeah. It's like 1993 going to church on Christmas. It's like 1995 going to Burning Man. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, do you think like they might go down the route of of her and Rand that way where it's his first Chimera, and that's kind of... So instead of the, the first... Like, the first woman he's with is, like, Avienda, and you take that away, and you add it... No, I want her to be first, because he's, like, so, like... I guess we gotta get married now. She's like... No. Bitch, no. What are you... Are you 12? Get out of here. <laughs> so... <laughs> I think you... I think you thought this was... an amateur hour. Abby's the best. She's the best of the three. Fight me. Because your okay. dick keeps me warm doesn't mean I want it forever. Excuse me. There's holes in this house. <gasps> this I have a better one. No, 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 no. He's a bad dad, but he's a great daddy. <laughs> if it had been yellow, I would have bought it in a heartbeat. Yes. <laughs> That's how you get Paul Rudd to fuck you. Also, you have to be a stepsister. Actually, you're fine. You're fine. I can just do my bit again. Okay. I don't know. That one was pretty great. It's not getting better. It's all downhill from here. That was the pinnacle.